I'm just going to show you a couple of interesting small things that you add to your game. First of all is this. When we run the game, I've programmed this so that as well as being able to run about, I can press U to pick up and it picks up an object. And now I and I press D to drop it. Sort of collection type games where you pick up things, go and collect them, and then you have to turn them to a particular list. But easy to do, and of course, you can program it so that when the coin touches the collection point, it then disappears and then adds one to your score. And then you can start to do things like winning and winning. So let's have a look at how I accomplish this. Very, very easy. When I press the keyboard key U, it grabs. When I press D, it drops. You'll notice there's more options on the grab and it's just to say once which means it will only you can't just hold down the key which enables people to treat, cheat sometimes. The other thing I've done on this if I run it again is I've programmed this little turret so that when I come near it into the ground and then when I go away again it comes back up. And this is the kind of behavior you see in lots of different games. And we want to try and replicate that. And I'll show you how I did that too. So, right click program. And this is using the sensing function so we see the motorcycle. Now if I only had these two, it would be whenever it saw the motorcycle anywhere. But I've given two conditions. The first one is line of sight. So if there's a wall in between, it won't activate it. That means I can sneak up on the little turret. And then the other one is close by. Otherwise, I could be anywhere in the level. And then the do is close. Now, this is only available on the stick type, which you can get in the bots when you add in an object. So certain bots have certain special features. To make him pop back up again, I've got a timer, which every four seconds says open. And it's just as simple as that. When I've got hearing as well down here, I can get this particular little stick man to react to noises. So I can get him to react to hearing particular uh, bots and jets and this kind of thing, or even particular sounds. So it might be an event and it might be a silly sound and when we hear a bang. So when we hear a bang, Actions more. Oh, no. Let's. Why don't we just close again? So, the two things to take away from this are depending on the bots, you might have some special abilities, so to be sure to check those out. And then the second thing is use the sensing functions to help make your world feel more interactive.